Hello, I'm Matteo Fabri from the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, and I'll explain how synthetic data can help pedestrian detection and tracking. Deep learning based methods require large volumes of training data to achieve good performance. However, data acquisition in crowded public environments raises data privacy concerns. Furthermore, the annotation of such data usually requires a substantial amount of manual effort, especially in the video domain. Labeling instances of pedestrian in highly crowded scenarios can be challenging and may introduce errors in the training data. Also, for some types of data like 3D poses, manual notation is not feasible. Last but not least, the COVID pandemic could hinder the recording of new video sequences of crowded scenes. A possible solution is to employ virtual worlds. In fact, storing virtual world data is GDPR compliant, as no real human ever gets involved in the process. The automatic annotation granted by the simulator completely removes manual effort making the annotation error-free and always consistent. Also, virtual worlds allow the collection of data that cannot be manually recorded, like 3D poses in the realistic crowded scenarios. As our simulator, in this work we use the Grand Theft Auto 5 video game. By injecting code into the game engine, we were able to create ModSynth, a large synthetic dataset for pedestrian detection, tracking and segmentation, designed to replace recorded data. ModSynth comes in bundle with temporally consistent bounding boxes and instant segmentation labels. 3D poses with occlusion information, and depth maps. ModScene contains more than 40 million annotated people instances, over almost 1.4 densely annotated frames. Compared to real-world urban surveillance datasets, ModScene has one order of magnitude more clips, annotated frames, and annotated instances. In this paper, we aim to answer a challenging question. Can we advance state-of-the-art methods in pedestrian detection and tracking using only synthetic data? To this end, we first retrain several state-of-the-art models for pedestrian detection, re-ID, tracking and segmentation on synthetic data and evaluate their performance on the real-world pedestrian tracking datasets, MOT17, MOT20 and MOTS. The comparison is done against the same models trained on state-of-the-art real-world datasets, like COCO, CrowdHuman, Market and Chuck. For people detection, we used four heterogeneous detectors, YOLO V3, CenterNet, Faster RCNN and Mask RCNN. By training the models on ModSynth, we consistently outperform models trained on COCO. For person re identification, ModSynth training has been compared to Market and Chuck. The results show that our synthetic training outperforms the union of both real world re ID datasets. This suggests synthetic datasets can be used as a full replacement for re ID applications. For tracking, we experimented with Tractor and Center Track. Experiments, once again, show that ModScene training is superior compared to COCO and Crowned Human training, even when fine-tuning on Mod17, further showing that ModScene is more suitable for pre-training compared to real-world datasets. For tracking and segmentation, we report a similar trend. In particular, Mask RCNN Tractor, trained directly on ModScene, outperforms Tractor by a large margin. It is important to note that this model is trained only on synthetic data, whereas other methods reported were trained using Mod Challenge or several datasets. Are other synthetic datasets able to bridge the gap? To answer this question, we train the detectors on other synthetic datasets. ModSynth-based training clearly outperforms alternative synthetic datasets by large margin. Finally, we evaluate our models on Mod Challenge test set using the public benchmark. We obtain highly competitive results when solely training using synthetic data. In fact, on MOT17, Tractor trained only on ModSynth outperforms Tractor trained on COCO and fine-tuned on MOT17. Additionally, CenterTrack trained on ModSynth and fine-tuned on MOT17 establishes a new state of the art. Here, some qualitative results show some detections obtained with YOLO V3 trained from scratch on ModSynth. The neural network has never seen real people, yet it's able to detect them. And this is awesome. In conclusion, synthetic training has always performed favorably, indicating that ModScene can completely replace manually annotated datasets while increasing performance. Also, we show that prior synthetic datasets are not suitable for bridging the synthetic to real gap. Lastly, we obtain state of the art results on the Mod Challenge Mod17 dataset by training recent methods using solely synthetic data. We believe this paper will pave the road for future efforts in replacing costly data collection with synthetic data in other domains. Thank you.